after you've been to bed together for the first time. without the advantage or disadvantage of any prior acquaintance. The other party very often says to you, Tell me about yourself. I want to know all about you. What's your story? And you think, Maybe they really and truly do sincerely want to know your life story and so you light up a cigarette and you begin to tell it to them. The two of you lying together in completely relaxed positions like a pair of rag dolls, a bored child dropped on a bed. You tell them your story or as much of your story as time or a fair degree of prudence allows, and they say, Oh, 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 oh. Each time a little more faintly, until the O oh is just an audible breath. And then, of course, there's some interruption. Slow room service comes up with a bowl of melting ice cubes or one of you rises to pee and gaze at himself with mild astonishment in the bathroom mirror. And then, first thing you know, before you've had time to pick up where you left off with your enthralling life story, they're telling you their life story exactly as they intended all along. And you're saying, oh, 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 oh. Each time a little more faintly. The vowel at last becoming no more than an audible sigh. As the elevator, halfway down the corridor and a turn to the left, draws one last long, deep breath of exhaustion and stops breathing forever. Then, well, one of you falls asleep, and the other one does likewise with a lighted cigarette in his mouth. And that's how people burn to death in hotel rooms.